and welcome to Art Hops. This is the show where we pair creative individuals with regionally brewed creations. I'm your host, Amy Kolar Anderson, and today we are at the Yellow Springs Brewery with our guest, Lisa Walters. Lisa, cheers. Cheers to you. Thank, Thank you. you so much for letting us come in and set up and, and uh, for talking with us today. Of course. Thank you mm. for coming. Well, we're going to discuss our colorful beers that we are <laughs> um, enjoying at some point, but First, let's talk a little bit about the brewery. Okay. Um, it is really cool because it is located right on the Little Miami Scenic Trail, right? which I think is amazing. Um, but what else makes Yellow Springs Brewery unique? Well, um, we feel that it's unique because of one really big reason is that in our tap room, we do not have televisions. And so that was our plan from the very beginning yeah. to do that. We're really focused on community and people connecting. We like folks from in town to come here and meet one another, come in, play games, talk about what's happened during the day. Uh, but we also like the fact that people from out of town uh, that who come to Yellow Springs, they want to connect with people that live here. Mm -hmm. And we really like that, that they can sit down at the bar, they can sit next to somebody who lives here and kind of find out the local knowledge, if you will. Right. Because there's a lot of value in that. Yeah. And, um, it's an opportunity just to hang out with the locals, basically. Yeah. In fact, back um, in October, I was part of a group show that you had, oh, yes. a group art show. Yeah. And we were sitting at the bar, and one of the uh, locals said, hey, who did this painting? I was uh -huh. like, that was me. Oh, nice. And next thing you know, we're seated at the table with these two couples, and they're telling us about the crazy Halloween de decorations that they do every year. Yeah, right? We ended up hanging out with them <laughs> for many hours. That's and wonderful. It was it was just so welcoming and you know, exactly like you said, you know, it just really encourages communication. Right. And that's kind of what we're talking about today, creating community, you know, and how you do mm -hmm. that through the brewery and um, through the artwork that you show here, as uh -huh. well as, um, you know, just the, the programs that you put on. Yeah. So um, what is your role here at the, at the brewery? Uh, well, the brewery was started with, by myself and my husband, Nate Cornett. And uh, my role is mostly with the marketing and um, more just like the day-to-day -day business functions of the business. Mm -hmm. so. Did you design the logo? I actually did not design the oh, logo. Okay. However, um, I am a graphic designer. That's my, my training. Uh -huh. um, but when we went to actually create our logo, it was too much pressure for me. Uh, I, <laughs> I can understand that. I just like could everything not do it. Is, is yeah. It just had to be perfect. Yeah. And you know, of course, perfection is uh, yes. very difficult yeah. to attain. So yeah. um, we um, hired some local folks here in town. Uh -huh. um, Clay and Stan is the the business, um, and uh, DJ and Justin actually came up with their logo, and they totally nailed it. We were uh, thrilled with it. It's yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's it's really it's, unique. Um, it kind of captures the the flavor of the place, you know, yeah. the sort of the wildlife, you know, you having the the bike trail right here. People mm -hmm. can go from being completely surrounded by birds and wilderness and then right. all of a sudden they're parking their bike and they're having a having a pint having a beer. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. it's fabulous. It's really wonderful. Great. So, um, you uh, have a program here called Art and Ales. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about that and what what's, uh, what is involved there. Yes, we um, our tap room has art on the walls at all times, and so we change artists. The exhibit changes every month, and we have at the beginning of each show we will have um, a reception for the artist, mm -hmm. and um, they can invite you know as many folks as they like to come out and kind of mingle with the, the local folks that come and appreciate the art. Um, we feel that in Yellow Springs, people sort of expect to see art on the walls when you yeah. come out here. Um, I know I do, I, and I want it to change all the time. So this gives us an opportunity to, to do that. Yeah. Well, and so. it makes it more exciting workplace for you if you're coming uh, to the same location every day. Right. It, it keeps you know transforming. Do you Absolutely. switch out every month then? Every month, okay. yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's very yeah. cool. And I know when I was here back in October, mm -hmm. um, you and I spoke, and I said I was interested in showing work here. And you said, oh, that's great. We'll put you down for summer 2016. <laughs> I was like, right. what? Yeah. <laughs> and that was October. 2014. So uh -huh. how far ahead are you booked at this point? We are actually booked until about the end of 2017. Wow. So, wow. which says to me that there are not enough venues yes. and ex exhibit space for artists in the Miami Valley area that are either comfortable or approachable. Yeah. 
Um, so I'm really happy to provide that space yeah. in an atmosphere that is not intimidating, if you will, um, mm -hmm. especially for maybe first time artists. I, mean, I know you have a lot of experience, but there are a lot of folks out there who maybe are doing this for the very first time. I know I was there. I was right. in that position before. Right. And it's, it's a little scary to yeah. put your work out there. There's such respect given to the artwork here because a lot of times restaurants or cafes or mm -hmm. whatever, they, they want to have artwork, but it's sort of a, an afterthought. Uh -huh. Whereas, you know, you have nice lighting, you have this um, hanging system that kind of ties in with the industrial feel of the bar, right. but also makes it really easy for newbies that have never hung work before or right. experienced artists to come in and arrange a show in a way. And I think you had um, told me about, because uh, you came up with the hanging system, right? Right, uh-huh. Yeah, you want to yeah. tell us a little bit about what makes that unique too? Yeah, sure. Um, it's actually inspired by a good friend of ours who has something similar in his house. Oh. Um, it's, it's actually cattle fencing that we bought at a farm equipment supply store. Yeah. And um, we mounted it on our walls. It's a grid that we just use uh, simple S-hooks for hanging, and nice. it does make it very simple, especially, I know I've experienced this uh, myself, hanging shows, is that you hang something up, you wanna move it. Right. And sometimes <laughs> it's just really too difficult. You either have so. a hole that you now have to patch, or you right. have a wire system that you've <laughs> already done the, the, you know, all the engineering to get yes. it up there, and then all of a sudden, yes. Uh, so it's very time-consuming. So yeah. um, this is very simple. We've had a lot of artists who walk out of here and say, wow, that was the quickest show I've ever hung. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's good. And yeah. we have a lot going on around here, so it actually fast is good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get, in, get them out, get the, the show on the road. Right. Yet it so, looks good. <laughs> so anybody, you said basically anyone can show. If they have artwork that, I mean, obviously they'll have to wait a little bit. Yes. But in the meantime, they can come and visit and see the shows that are rotating and coming through here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so who, who's on the walls right now? Uh, we just hung a, sh a new show yesterday. It's oh. Martha Mendelssohn. Uh -huh. uh, she's a fine art photographer. A lot of her pieces were shot in Tanzania. Oh, wow. And she focuses on texture in nature mm -hmm. and a little bit of um, skewing the perspective on things. So sometimes you walk up to a photo and not and may not know exactly what that is. Right. You know, right. One of my favorites in the show is... Um, a close-up of an elephant trunk next to a, a tree yeah and it's very hard to discern exactly what's going on in that photo. yeah when we got here I did a quick uh, uh -huh. run through and that was the one that stood out oh, to me really? too I was like oh that's an interesting perspective yeah, on, really on is. kind of a traditional subject matter as right. far as mm -hmm. you know African imagery but, right. but done in a way where you're like wait is it oh I think it yeah. is yeah, yeah she's yeah. got a wonderful eye yeah and I think you mentioned coming up is uh, a, a group that meets here a figure figure drawing group yes actually that show that was the previous show. oh that one just yes, ended that's what oh, okay. we just took down that was a group that meets mostly uh, local artists here in Yellow Springs but a few outside artists from around the area um, they meet on Wednesday mornings and they have nude models that they draw or paint or um, uh, some, there's even a clay artist that does work oh, there. Very cool. So that was the show we just had. Mm -hmm. So is that group open if people were interested in joining it, or are they kind of have their? Uh, you know, I am not exactly uh -huh. sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know. The, the... Do they have a, a name that you know of? Or they don't. They no. just kind of this... they just show up and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> create. Yeah, that's okay. right. Well, yeah. if anybody's interested, they're on their own. They'll yeah. figure it out. It's kind of Yellow Springs <laughs> way. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just kind of they just gather, they do their magic, and then they right exactly. <laughs> Great. Well, let's. Speaking of um, magic and, and <laughs> creating artwork, um, we have two of your featured beers here. Um, you want to tell us a little bit first about what what is this beautiful yes, thing that I'm drinking gorgeous and enjoying beer. so much? <laughs> yes, this is that's called the Big Paw Paw, and it was a collaboration mm -hmm. beer that we just created with Whole Foods Market, mm -hmm. and it's being sold at Whole Foods and it's being sold here. Oh, that's and it's exciting. Maybe a few other select situations around. Mm -hmm. um, but those are the two main places you can find it. Yeah. So and it's um, so it's kind of a it's basically a fruit beer, right? Yes, yes, it um, is. So it has a little bit of a zing to it. It's a full flavor without being like sickly sweet or anything. Right, it's just really fresh and clean. And I think it's one of my new Yellow Springs <laughs> brewery <laughs> favorites because I've had a, a several of your beers in the uh -huh. past, and I think I leaned more towards the stout and porter, but now uh -huh. I'm like, I know I'm going to be coming oh, back good. for this one. And then what about, what are you yeah. drinking? Oh, well, by the way, this has pawpaw oh. and oh, raspberries yeah. in it. Oh, that's probably so, why I like it so much. And yes. <laughs> and they're both, uh, both of those fruits are from Ohio. We tried to source those locally. Nice. So 
That's excellent. That's great. Well, and I'm drinking uh, Captain Stardust Saison, mm -hmm. which uh, is our best-selling beer, right. and um, it is actually going to be canned a little bit later in the fall. So. Oh, very cool. So that's a new endeavor for you guys. It is. You haven't canned before. Yes, yes. That's we are expanding exciting. our equipment, and as we speak, <laughs> yeah, and we'll be bringing yeah, we to tell everybody, weeks. shh working in here. Right. <laughs> it gets a little noisy out there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very cool. So. Yeah. So, and of course, together, they just make a lovely pair. So, have you actually combined them? Do you do that? Oh, what a great idea. I have not. Maybe we'll have to try that when we're done. Yes, here. we will. <laughs> All right. So, but in addition yeah. to being um, one of the, the co-owners of Yellow Springs Brewery, you are also an artist yourself. So you, oh, yeah. you um, it's primarily ceramics. Correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. And one way that you uh, create community with your art is through these large scale mural installations where and can you tell us about that I mean that's yeah sure um, I originally started out uh, learning to, with clay mm -hmm. many many years ago I started out throwing and um, I still love to do that but it's really not my focus my focus is more on two-dimensional because mm -hmm. I'm a, my background with as a graphic designer kind of oh, led okay. me to that and that's my my comfort world I guess mm -hmm. and what really excites me so um, I started making tiles and um, saw some mosaics and thought, wow, I wonder if I could do this. Uh -huh. And uh, started out, I made a, a very large pond installation at a house that I once lived in here in town. Um, that was my first one. And so you, did you make it while you lived there? I did. Was it hard to move away from um, it? <laughs> yes and no. I guess I don't get that oh, attached. Okay. Okay. Um, I, when the house that I moved into, I did another one. Okay, so, there you go. Yeah. So you made up for it. Yeah, so so that's always been one of my worries is doing something amazing and permanent and custom <laughs> in a house and then being like, well, I can't move now. Oh, right. And yeah. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm connected forever. Yeah. Well, I guess I kind of look at it as it's like a new opportunity. Yeah. So yeah, start over right. fresh. Excellent. So, so I did another one at the, the house that I live in now. Mm -hmm. um, done some... So, uh, like a bar installation, um, have done front steps, um, and also do, uh, I did a fire pit oh, where nice. I um, mosaic it outdoors. And also I do some things for St. Charles Seminary, some uh, donor recognition pieces. Okay. I've done about six or seven at this point in time for them. So, And is that, um, are, are people able to visit these yes. locations? And yes, um, a lot of them are in private homes, okay. well, which yeah. most people are very happy to show off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but th that particular one at St. Charles Seminary is in Mercer County. Mm. It's um, The grounds there, is, it's very beautiful. I mean, if it's for people to go up there, it's wonderful. Um, but they're also in a public hallway there. Oh, okay, great. So, so they are inside and They're protected. inside, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, but still open to the community. Yes. Very cool. Excellent. Yeah. And then, um, in addition to creating these large-scale uh, large installations, you also create the more intimate, almost uh, yeah. kind of reflective of, of the pendant that you're wearing that right. we, we talked a little bit. There, there are a lot of little house forms. They are. There. What, what yes. draws you to that symbolism? Um, I think I like to work with the house form because it's to me it symbolizes uh, protection, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, that's actually why I wear this oftentimes. Uh -huh. um, it's if I, I feel like I need a protection, not necessarily physical, which that is what a house offers, obviously, right. but also sort of a an emotional protection. Okay. Um, it's, it's like you can retreat into that, right, and that's right. how I use my home. I retreat yeah. when I need to there. Yeah, I'm so, very much a homebody myself. Yeah. It's my studio's in my home, right. you know, it's, it's my comfort zone, it's my safety exactly. place. Exactly, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah, there's no pressures there yeah. in any way. And so you've, you've um, created them, or some of them have sort of trans, um, transformed almost into altars, right. where, which are more kind of open and, and I guess public in a way, as opposed to the closed protection of a home. Right. Um, was that was that intentional or sort of like a natural evolution? It was actually a very natural evolution. Um, I started with the the house shapes, which um, are often dimensional, uh, and I started cutting windows into them. Uh huh. And that sort of represented to me an opportunity to look inward, and maybe spiritually, emotionally, kind of use it that way mm -hmm. and then I kind of connected with the spiritual part of all of that which is a natural progression to me to do an altar yeah and oftentimes um, altars and windows can 
actually be very similar in my mind. Uh -huh. People use the ledge of a window. I do all the time. Oh, yes. I'm always putting my little trinkets that yeah. I find places. I think I have geodes and little sculptures and little found, you know, feathers and rocks. And, right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the cats love them. <laughs> <laughs> right. But yeah. yeah, and then you also tie in a lot of narrative elements. So, I do. So you have to hand uh, embed or... Um, mm -hmm. Engrave, not engrave. What's the uh, emboss? Emboss. Yeah. Um, each one of those letters individually, so it almost right. becomes kind of meditative in a way. It does. The yeah. process. That's really exactly what's happening. <laughs> I've done it with wood, so I understand uh -huh. where it's like you have to stay slow. You have to like think each one out, otherwise you're going. Ooh, scrap right. that whole project because right. I forgot me. You know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the beauty of clay is ah. you can. Erase yes. that, if you will. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. So a lot, a lot I'm forgiving. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah. But you're right. The whole process. Every time I'm creating a piece that has words, especially, mm -hmm. I'm living with each one of those letters and words, and then the entire um, quote or poem, if, if if that's what I choose. And I'm thinking about that very intimately as I'm making it. Mm -hmm. And it's very interesting to me at the end of the day if I if I get a few hours in my studio to see which one of the quotes that I have chosen for the day mm -hmm. and then the collection of the quotes. And it's, I look at, step back and look at it and think, oh, that's where my head is. That's what I need to explore yeah. for the day. So yeah. it's really fascinating. So as you're sitting here and interacting with people, have they inspired you to, with certain narrations, like a story they've told or uh, maybe a quote or something? Or, or maybe that's a possible future. Yeah, I love that idea. Because <laughs> since you are right. tying with so many, um, so many individuals from the community uh -huh. have such interesting viewpoints or stories, you know, uh, right. adventures that they've lived and whatnot. Right. No, I have not explored that but mm -hmm. I love that idea yeah thanks great. <laughs> you never know like the um, episode that I interviewed Rob Boley uh -huh. we started talking like this and um, I mentioned had no oh, have you ever worked with an illustrator no well we're working on a collaborative project oh, that's so wonderful. you never know what what will yeah. come from from art hops it may <laughs> so be a true. whole new body of work for you <laughs> I love it <laughs> so Lisa you had said that when um, you started the brewery, you had to take a step back from creating your own artwork. Right. So, but recently you've gotten back in the studio. I right? have. You want to tell us yes. about, about that and what that's? Yeah, it's very exciting for me to, to come to this point in the brewery. We've been um, open about, well, over two years now. We've been, I've been involved uh, over three years. Oh. And um, I knew I would be stepping back from doing my own artwork for a while. Mm -hmm. um, so, it's now gotten to the point where I can get back into my studio a little bit. Sort of like yeah. having a child it, it for, is. in a way. Exactly. You know, it's like you brought your baby into the world and <laughs> yes. you know, it's got legs now, it's, right. it's about to can. You know, it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> and now you can get back to you know, being a little more self-focused. Exactly. I so spent a little more time. So you're, um, so you're involved with the Yellow Springs uh, Pottery Guild? Was that? It's um, Yellow Springs Pottery Store, store. in okay. Yellow Springs, which is a co-op store, retail oh, store. Okay. Um, with about 10 different potters, and um, each of us have our own studios. Oh, nice. And the store has actually been open for over 40 years. I was going to say, so, I know I've been in there numerous yeah, times. So. Most people probably yeah. know of it, at least. Yeah. So um, I went into that store probably 25 years ago and walked in and immediately had this thought, oh, I would love to be a part of this. Yeah. Well, they do not take new members very often. Oh. The, in fact, I think it's been 15 years since any of the members l had left. Oh, so they have sort of their number. Yes. And until somebody vacates the seat. Yes, they're right, their exactly. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. So the opportunity came up last year mm -hmm. to apply, and I did. And um, I was selected along with uh, Nason Mekalarji here in town. And I became a member and started showing my work in April. Excellent. So I'm now a part of that. And has that um, inspired any any new directions work or, or um, not work? yet? Um, I it was it took a little while to kind of get back into yeah. my rhythm. Oh, so yeah, I'm, sure. I'm very excited about the idea you just oh, okay, conveyed good. to me. So, <laughs> so that's fun. one never knows. Excellent. Yeah. Cool. Well. So. This has been a lot of fun talking art and beer, and uh, yes. obviously having the big paw paws has been delicious. <laughs> Good. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> if anyone uh, wants to come out, you guys have uh, regular hours. How often are you guys open? We do. We're open uh, Wednesday through Friday from 3 to 10, mm -hmm. Saturday from 1 to 10, and Sunday 1 to 8. Okay, and then if they have questions, um, should they jump on Facebook or your webpage? Um, or? Either way, our, our website is yellowspringsbrewery.com. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks again. Cheers. Cheers.
and thank you for joining us. See you again next time. Thank <laughs> you.